There are a number of family members or people in this church, young men who are incarcerated. And we believe God. Amen. Amen. I was aware of two of the of the young men, but and dealing with Jamal's situation and beginning to pray about it, and I get all this information coming in. We have families with people locked up. Amen. And I was not really aware of that. And so thank God that some good comes out of everything. Amen? Amen. So on Wednesday night, because we believe in the power of prayer. Amen. I know that prayer breaks bondage. Amen. Someone say amen. I know that about amen. it. I, I have no doubt about that. I know that when you grab the horns of prayer and you believe God, God will break that thing up. The angels will go to work on your behalf. Yes. So um, if you uh, have a family, a friend, a loved one, or if you know anybody who has anybody in bondage, you want to encourage them to be here on Wednesday night. I'm not talking about only incarceration. I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm talking about in bondage to behaviors and bondage to addictions and bondage. Come on, talk to me here. Anybody in bondage to anything that you know, there's going to be deliverance here on Wednesday night. I wish somebody say amen. amen. It's up to you and I whether we come and receive it, but I'm, I'm, I'm calling for all of our prayer warriors and our leaders on Wednesday, there will be a day of fasting. We're coming to do more, amen? amen? We can't forget who we are, amen? We can't get too comfortable as you forget where your strength lies, amen? We are a spiritual nation. We win things in the spirit, amen? And when we find things, we go through the spirit. Sometimes you come and talk to me, and now sometimes we get so comfortable with being common, amen, that we keep expecting God to do everything. He's in I gave you power. Yeah, go oh, glory to God. So Wednesday night, we're going to put down some strongholds, amen? I already started doing it in my prayer. you got to put the blood of Jesus on them strongholds. I've been having somebody talk. you got to go into your children's room to anoint their beds and anoint their heads. And you got to put down these strongholds. You see your child with some of these behaviors that you don't understand. you got to deal with that stuff in prayer. Beating ain't going to get some of the stuff taken care of. you got to go in the, in the realm where it's going to make a difference that I have no choice but to change. Amen. 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 You are a spiritual nation. Your strength is in the spirit. So you do your fighting above what you can see. I said, man, this is the message right here. You do your fighting above that which you can see. The way that this world is right now, you have no chance in the natural. But if you want to change things, transfer yourself, transition yourself in the spirit. Pray till you lose your mind. Pray tell you don't even know what you're saying no more. Pray tell tongues start coming out that you never heard before. Pray tell you start speaking in tongues. People who never spoke in tongues, go grab the altar and keep praying until tongues come out. Now you know you're making a difference in the spirit. I wish somebody say amen in here. Somebody who came to church say amen. amen. So we, we, we come in here Wednesday night to pray. Amen? So anybody with families in bondage, you in bondage, your loved ones in bondage, even your neighbors who have people in bondage, tell them they might want to be here on Wednesday night. And for our leaders, we're going to do some fasting uh, from Wednesday from 6 o'clock up until after the prayer. Amen. 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 We, amen. If, if you're with me, say amen. 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 That's for those who want to be soldiers of the cross. Amen. Those who want to make an impact on this earth. Amen. amen. Can't keep eating them chicken wings and expect things to change. Amen. Amen. amen, apostle. <laughs> All of our leaders are required to attend. Now, I have a surprise announcement. I got a revelation driving the church, amen? So our Christmas program, I made a decision that we will do it next Sunday morning. Okay. So what we're going to do is, we're going to allow the, kids, the young people to do their program and then I'll preach, amen? Praise and worship, being all these announcements and all that, will be out the door. Someone say amen. So we'll just go into the program, allow the young people to put on their program, we'll do some more praise and worship, and then we'll bring the word of Christmas, amen? Amen. Wednesday night, the 31st, we'll be here for watch night, combining with greater love. I'm expecting to see all of y'all. Amen. Amen. Yeah, even if you done got a little bit tipsy, wait till after church to get drunk. Someone say amen. Still make it here. Someone say amen. Now, I know some of y'all great who's already cooling. Someone say amen. So, I had a meeting with some pastors yesterday, and this guy introduced this business plan to us. You know, it's a great plan for, for, to give Christians, uh, uh, children of God, 20% off. And he have all these stores, and he sat there before his pastor and said, well, you know, I'm not including no liquor stores. I said, who are you going to present this to? Right. Church people? And you ain't putting no liquor stores? Right. You don't understand the church, bro. <laughs> you got a revelation. 
Y'all drink. Someone say amen. amen. All of y'all don't drink, but y'all drink. Stop being hypocrites. You may not be a drunkard, but you drink. And if you don't drink, don't judge the other person. You're already saved. For Christ's sake, give yourself a break. Amen. Stop pretending in front of people. Amen. Glory to God. If you want to join up, <laughs> seven, <laughs> seven, <laughs> <laughs> Go back and, and, and remind yourself of it, man. Are we having youth after service? I mean, they having the, yes, they sir. selling food? Yeah. Amen. Please support the youth. Everybody spend at least one dollar. Amen. Don't forget today is your 30-30 plan. I didn't, um, I didn't, um,